Hello, this is Siddharth Damber from Chicago Arthritis and Regenerative Medicine. Interesting patient who I just saw that has some issues that need to be discussed. So I just saw a 32-year-old woman, um, new patient to me. She has various aches and pains, mainly in her shoulders and her left wrist. So there are a few things in her um, <clears throat> history that require some additional discussion. The first is, it turns out she's been using a medication called Arcoxia. What's interesting about this is I never even heard of this medication, so I had to Google this. And it turns out it's another name for the medication Viox. Really interesting because Viox has not been sold in the United States for a number of years, in large part because of significant rates of higher risks of heart disease. Um, it's been pulled from the market. I think it's actually banned from the market. What's really interesting is two things. Number one is that she um, had received this medication because her parents live in Israel and they were able to obtain this medication over there. So when you look up Viox, you realize that this medication, while no longer sold in the United States, is sold throughout the rest of the world. That's really interesting that a medication that is thought to be um, unsafe for American uh, individuals is okay to be sold in other parts of the world. Is that appropriate? Different discussion, ethics, business, the fact that Merck would feel like it's okay to sell this medication in the rest of the world is, is um, from a physician standpoint, is kind of scandalous. Uh, number two is, um, for this individual, because she's seeing me, because she's requiring pain medication, that automatically triggers in my mind we can't just be thinking what's the next step. We have to be thinking what are the next three to four steps? How do we treat this on a um, deeper level so that we can um, prevent this from getting worse and so that we can actually treat the cause of what's going on so that you don't require these kind of pain medications long term? So um, she mentioned that her parents have been getting these same medications for years, if not over a decade from their physicians. And while I'm not treating her parents in Israel, obviously, um, uh, really that same thinking process that it's not good enough to just have a one-step process in terms of here's something for pain, you have to dig deeper. You do have to take that three, four extra levels to really get at what's going on, treat the source, and try to make this better long-term so that an individual doesn't require pain medications long-term. It shouldn't be a reflex to prescribe this kind of medication it should take a really thoughtful approach as to what's going on and try to avoid these kind of medications that do have toxicity issues. And the case of Vioxx, it's not just heart disease. Long-term use, you also have issues like um, liver and kidney as well. These are significant things that need to be accounted for. So, um, you know, I think luckily for this individual, we talked about the risks of taking this kind of medication long-term. Um, and we can set her down a better path long term to um, really restrict the use of those kind of medications for her to prevent all those other side effects. Thank you for your time. Have a good day and live well. Bye-bye.